My research interests are in statistics, applied probability, financial econometrics and mathematical finance. In particular, I'm interested in stochastic volatility um, modeling and estimation. I, I work on statistical theory. That's really the, the properties of methods of statistical inference. So I'm from South Africa originally and I started in Imperial in 2010 and uh, my PhD is in the area of statistics in a uh, field known as uh, change detection in streaming data with applications to cybersecurity. My own research is in a topic called statistical signal processing and um, this is a kind of interface subject between um, statistics and a lot of, lot of the other sciences. Um, particularly electrical engineering, geophysics, oceanography and areas like this. I, I'm very interested in algorithmic statistics. Um, in this case, so for um, the past two years, yeah. this uh, was with an application to multiple hypothesis testing. To, to be a successful um, a PhD student in this area and to have a fulfilling time as a PhD student, I think a student has to have um, a firm grounding and interest in you know, the basic nuts and bolts of mathematical statistics. And I look for that. Is this person got a good enough um, track record that they're going to know the basics of the subject? I'm, I'm looking for students who have a very strong um, background in mathematics and statistics in general, and in particular in the area where they would like to do their PhD in. Say, if you're interested in financial applications, then I'm looking for a PhD student who has a strong background in stochastic analysis and probability. If you would like to do your um, PhD more in statistics, then I'm obviously looking for a strong background in statistics, but also um, programming skills will obviously be very, very helpful. Helpful. So it's, it's important to me to um, feel that they've got the right mathematical background to start with because um, the particular topics I'm interested in involve a bit of applied maths as well as statistics. So ideally the, the uh, candidate would have had some exposure to that. So I think the Department of Mathematics here at Imperial is a great place um, for doing a PhD. Um, it's, it's a very big department with many members of staff, so you will have the opportunity to actually talk to many different researchers and to get feedback on your research from various people. Obviously, you will mainly interact with your main supervisor, but in addition, you can attend many, many seminars. We have really a wide range of different seminar series. We organize various workshops and conferences here at the department. So you you will definitely get in touch with the main people in your research field. Imperial has, is, is highly ranked in recent um, rankings comparing universities, especially um, sort of in Europe and also world, wo worldwide, um, which makes it a sort of first choice for a PhD or like any science related study. I'm very happy here, yeah, I've got, I've got two great supervisors who provide a lot of support um, and direction and and uh, they also support me to go in other directions if I find things that interest me and take me a bit off the track. Everywhere we look, um, there are people, scientists, social scientists, medics, working on problems that require um, a, you know, proper statistical inference and interpretation of their data. So uh, a grounding through a PhD in statistics really equips, gives people the skills to be able to contribute right, to, to so many different fields that I think the career opportunities are sort of boundless. Mm -hmm.